The landing gear for the rear sections is going to be very similar to that one that's uh, right there. Very similar to the, uh, the track. You can see the, the suspension, the shock absorbers there. And those are my own shock absorbers. So let me talk a little bit about that. The rear control hobby industry does make shocks. You know, you've seen that in buggies, you've seen that in rear control cars, motorcycles, I mean, they, you name it. So here again, being myself, I don't like to use things that are out there. Uh, number one, because I like to make my own parts. I like to put, like I said in all my videos that I, that I talk about my products, you know, I like to throw in my own parts, my own designs, and kind of my own my own thing you know otherwise what's the point you know if you're going to be you know uh, cutting and pasting from products that you're buying and basically that's not that's not your own you're just basically uh, you know cutting and pasting so i don't want to use the shock absorbers you know for for buggies so i had to develop one my uh, one of my own and i wanted to stay more true to the to the real trikes but i wanted to design my own and, and this is something that I, I did when i did this model you know many many years ago uh, it's something that i had to ponder on and, and think about it, how am I going to do this so that it looks, you know, really cool and, and it's simple and, and it works. And so, you know, if we were to test this, you know, you can see how that works. And it's got the right, uh, the, the right um, tension there or resistance. You know, I'm, I'm probably putting about a good maybe 10 pounds of pressure. So, and that's how I did also the springs. These springs I, I coil myself using uh, spring wire or music wire. You know, you do this on a lathe. The original springs were a little bit uh, too thick and it did not give me that spring that you see here. I mean, I'm putting, you know, like I said, almost 10 pounds of pressure there. And they were a little too, too thick. I don't want these springs to be humongous. You need like the radio control cars are, you know, they're, they're very big springs, wide diameter. So I wanted to keep this really, really clean, okay, and more in scale. So I did this and, you know, I was just playing around with different size diameter wires and, and the number of coils um, and the diameter itself of the spring, you know, to come up with this. So I took, you know, several tries, but finally I arrived at that particular one. So that's the one that I'm going to keep on the Tanark as well. Now, the way this is done here, this is a, uh, let's see if I can undo this. This is a, th a threaded part. Oh boy, it's a little hard. It's a little hard because it's under tension. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, let me just pull that up. Okay, so, you know, coming up with this section here is real easy because this is nothing more than a tube and this is just a, a telescopic uh, section here that I did to uh, be able to hook it up to this bracket here. And this is runs on, on brackets. And the reason for these brackets, uh, one, it needs to support, you know, this triangulation here in, in, a, in a logical way. And then the bracket also has to support the uh, um, uh, wheel pans. Or, or covers, you know, so that wheel cover cannot be, you know, flopping and flexing and, and twisting. So that's the reason for that bracket here. It gives me two points where I can attach the the fins here. If I were to put some fins here, I won't be putting fins here because I like this open frame, but I will be putting fins on the other one, just like that real Tanarik has. So this right here is uh, basically a no brainer because it's just a telescopic tubing, like I said, and this is kind of my own. The original one actually is a little bit, it comes down to the point here, but I, I thought it looked cool here and making it thin at this point here. So that's the way I did that. So that's kind of my own my own little detail there. When you have certain parts and you want to achieve a certain effect, you know, you, it takes, you know, it takes a little thought into it. Okay, so I started with the unhardened precision shaft that I bought in a certain length and then I cut it to this particular size. Then I drilled a hole right through there. I added a uh, nylon um, uh, socket there, which is also drilled right through. And that, that provides my nice and smooth uh, pivoting point here. And it allows to make up for this gap here, for this bracket here. So that's what that is. The supporting, the spring is right there. Nothing more than the spring. Like I said, I, I had to figure out the, the correct uh, uh, resistance on the spring. 
this is a uh, nylon bolt that I drilled right through it, drill it, and then I had to come back and ream it. So this will give me a nice and smooth ride. And this is basically just a stop uh, nylon collar that's been pressure fit on the shaft. And this is not going anywhere, by the way. You know, I can I can put a lot of pressure. It's it's this was done on a press, by the way, so it's it's solid. And uh, all this assembly fits right in there. This tube right here had to be threaded on the interior, you know, with a with a tap for that particular threading of the screw, and that's how that works. It looks very simple, but you know, I spent uh, quite a bit of time trying to come up with this setup here, but finally I did it, and and so now it's easy, and now you know, you know how that's done. Um, what else here? The suspension. As I said before, it's uh, my own suspension here. It's very similar to the to the real one, and uh, you know, very similar to the BBW in the use of uh, basically high flexibility um, and strength uh, O-ring, if you will. So that gives that spring tension and, and suspension. And of course, this rides on you know the the center here via this aluminum square uh, tubing that I used to do that, and it's not going anywhere the foot rests uh pilot seat uh pardon my my pilot this is one of the <laughs> the very first ones so it's not that clean i mean uh you can see how, how rough the uh, this the the suit is it's got all these it's got all this all these threads coming out my my new pilots don't have this is this was one of the first ones but i like to keep it because it's it's the one that i use you know for stuff like this you know i just move it up from from one model to the other one and i can get a uh, a pretty close representation and, and fit, you know, when I'm, I'm test fitting these things. So that one goes there. The, uh, the other pilot sits in the, at the top here with similar seat. These are a little more customized seats than the, the ones I offer with the MIA 1.25 trikes, the micro lights in kit form. Uh, a little more customized because uh, they, uh, you know, the back on this one needs to be cut kind of inward so the pilot in the back wraps his round legs around this one you know like the real ones you know they, they they have to have a little gap there so so it's comfortable for the pilot you know to sit and, and you know put his feet you know on the footrests here the real ones are done with it, with the king post and cables so that's the reason for these loops here and that's the way i, I did this you know many many years ago um so i might i might do one with a king post if i decide to do that it's not because somebody did it on the radio control micro light after the fact that I've been you know, selling these in kit forms and I had these way before anybody had one on, online or on uh, you know anywhere on, in the world. So that's the reason you know I can I can still do that if I decide to do that. Uh, King posts were used on real things and I you know I started uh, many of the models that 30 some years ago you know started with a King post and I've even used King posts in my ultra lights you know way before any micro lights were available from anybody. Uh, online or anywhere else so that's where that's coming from it comes from the real aircraft uh, with a lot of inspiration lifted from the real aircraft joints photographs I mean that's that's what I use you know to do these things and that's why they fly you know it's good but I also use a lot of uh, um, creativity because not because you can make a model to scale you know perfectly in scale means that it's going to fly there's a lot of things that need to be done you know also uh, smartly uh, in order for these things to uh, be robust, durable, and, and, and have the aerodynamic efficiency that, that I show in, in many of my trikes. You know, my, my trikes can do loops, they can do a lot of things, can withhold the loop pattern because they are designed with the wings and the structure to hold those things in place. So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more.